Hey, Gianna. What you mean you can't hear? Can anybody hear me? Thank you, Carmen. Girl, I can't wait to see you again, Carmen, so we can take some more shots. <laughs> I gotta hurry up and make my way back. Okay, y'all can hear. Okay, well, LA Princess, you gonna have to log off and come back, and it must just be your device. All right, so I was thinking we can do good stuff coming to y'all in May. Okay, that's what we're gonna do today. Who we thought it went first yesterday? Air signs? I think it was air signs. All right, but then we're not starting with the bitches today. <laughs> um, we're going to start with... Um, no, we didn't. Let me see, because y'all be lying to me. Hold on, I'm ready. I, I'm going to check. Oh, we started with water yesterday. Okay. Um. You just came back from your honeymoon. Where y'all go, girl? All right, we gonna start with air signs. And somebody write air signs. Oh, y'all was saying that's to the topic. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Uh, Y'all gotta understand, I am tired, okay? I am really tired. Like, this candle work be draining me, but I like it. Just kidding. I'm just in delusion. No, girl, don't say you're just kidding. You know, you got you to gotta be like me. You got to speak it into existence and really believe it. Yeah, Brie, I've been busy, 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 busy today. And I'm still not fucking done. I'm going to be doing this shit all week. <laughs> um, all right, let's get started. Spirit, what? Good. Hey, Nikki. What good stuff is coming to air signs for the month of May? What good stuff is coming to air signs for the month of May? Not you in love right now. <laughs> I got love all over me. <laughs> That's what you guys think, think. Spirit, give me three more cards for air signs. Three more cards for air signs. What can they, what good stuff is coming to them the month of May? What good stuff is coming to air signs the month of May? Oh my God, I can't get it. <sighs> what good stuff is coming to air signs the month of May? Let's see. What would you say about? Give me one more card for air signs. What good stuff is coming to air signs for the month of May? Thank you, Juanita. What good? Okay. <clears throat> Death in reverse. Somebody feels like, what is the tattoo on your wrist? Which one? This one or this one? This one is my mother name. This one is a sunflower. And this is something else. Um, okay, anywho, death in reverse. So I don't know if you look at this as good as good or bad. I don't know. 
For some people, y'all gonna be ecstatic. Other people, you might be like, oh, that's not good, whatever. But death in reverse, somebody feels like it's unfinished business between you two. Somebody um, more than likely is gonna try to come back in the month of May. Hell, they may have already came back. Um, nine of swords. Y'all are in your head about whether y'all wanna take them back. Because a part of you, now let's keep it real. Part of y'all really want this person back because y'all really do love them because you got the lover's card here. Now, I'm, I'm getting two storylines, so pay attention and listen up, okay? Some of y'all may have recently started talking to someone else, dating someone else, and you're catching feelings for them. And then this past person comes back and you're like, what the fuck do I do? Others of you, actually, I might be getting three storylines. Others of you are just casually out here dating. You're enjoying all the options you have. And you still like, all right, I don't know if I really want to take this person back. Now, another storyline is your person may be the one with two people like you and someone else. And you're in your head because you're like, do I really want to keep putting up with this shit? Like, I know they got somebody else. Do I want to keep subjecting myself to this? Because at the end of the day, you know, like, if you take them back and they do got a third party, you're going to always feel like you got to compete for their time, for their love and their for their affection. And who the fuck got time for that? Okay. Um, but yeah, somebody do love you or you're falling in love with somebody. I, I don't know, but I feel like y'all going to have two people. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean, okay, let me, let me say this. You don't necessarily have to have two people because you can reject this person from the past. So, Carmen, like you're saying, like, where is the whatever you just said? Lover's card. So, this would indicate that you are in love with your Leo. You don't have to allow this past person to come back. Okay? You don't have to. You can ride off in a sunset with your new lover if you wanted to. So, tell me about the death in reverse. Why is the death in reverse here? <clears throat> tell me about the death in reverse. So here's something about the death in reverse. Page of Wands. Somebody might send y'all booty call text in May. Mm-hmm. This is somebody you either already fucking or have fucked in the past, okay? Um, you have good news coming in. Like, something good is coming in for y'all in the month of May, okay? There's going to be a lot of passion in the month of May. Now, granted, if this is somebody that you're currently not dealing with, then you do not have to accept this sexual offer. You do not have to respond to their text messages, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Damn. Nine of Swords is terrified by the hangman and the devil card. Y'all are stressed out in your head having really bad anxiety because even though you know this person is somebody you probably got to let go of, you find it hard to resist them. Especially when it comes to sex. You find it very hard to resist them. Y'all may have some sort of toxic connection with one another or this person could just be bound to something or someone else like an addiction or another person it doesn't matter but some of y'all are stuck and y'all don't know what the fuck to do i don't know <laughs> tell me about the lover's card why is the lover's card here tell me about the lover's card nine of pentacles look some of y'all may decide to remain single and just casually date, okay? Because y'all going to be looking good. Your money going to be doing good. Like, when it comes to your career, you don't really need to stress over that. Because if you're doing something, servicing people or selling something, like, put more effort into that. Because you have people waiting to buy what you're selling or what you offer. Um, you have people waiting to book an appointment with you, Okay? Nine of Pentacles, you're ready to go through a major fucking glow up financially and physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever. This is yours. This this month, I feel like y'all gonna shine. Y'all really gonna shine. So 
you may decide to stay single or this person, if they're juggling, they may, hey, Marcelli, they may decide to um, become single because they see how good you looking. They see that you get into that bag, okay? They might come back because they really see that your money is really about to increase. You got to be careful with people like that. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Tell me about the five of wands. Hermit. Why do y'all want to go in hermit mood? Like, y'all got some good shit. Come, let me see. Hold the fuck up. Tell me about the hermit. Well, you know what? That might not be a bad thing because with the hermit card, some of y'all may be ready to, like, take a class, go to school, go back to college, learn something. Hey, Chanel. Um, so, this might not be a bad thing because whatever you're ready to learn is going to make you some money. Because like I said, whatever you're ready to sell, whatever you're ready to offer, whatever you got going on, people is going to want your services. So this may be the time to focus on your career. That's why you're showing up as that nine of pentacles because your career is about to get better. So yeah, I guess look at Hermit as a really good thing for you right now because it's going to benefit you when it comes to your career. Sometimes you got to miss out on some shit to get what you're trying to go in life. Tell me a book. Tell me, oh, God damn it. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands. What is going on? Tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Tell me about the page of wands. Queen of swords. Yeah, whoever this is that's going to um want your little goodies, you got to sat down treats with them. This is your energy, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is also cut. She will cut. She will cut you the fuck off. She will cut out what no longer serves her, okay? Because she is a no nonsense type of person. That's what y'all need to become with this person because they are toxic. They are really fucking toxic. So yeah, y'all may really decide to cut them off. And if you're not gonna cut them off, then it's like you really gotta set boundaries with them. Tell me about the Devil card and the Hangman. Why is the Hangman and the Devil card here? Hey, Shakam. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, <clears throat> this person really does not want to change. I'm telling you right now. And they know that they fucked up. And they feel like you look at them differently now, as you probably should. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Y'all are overthinking something when it comes to your career. Get out of your head. Put that effort in. Because y'all are going to be busy the remaining of the year. If y'all really start, like, say if you take whatever class or you go back to college, whatever you've been thinking about doing, you're going to be so busy because you're about to build something, okay? You're about to create something that's going to consistently keep you busy, that you're going to have consistent clientele. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is that y'all are doing, but... Yeah, you got to stop overthinking and, and get this shit started or done or whatever. And even when it comes to love, it's like y'all overthinking the situation because at the end of the day, you like a part of you feel like, okay, if I take this person back deep down inside, I know we're going to keep having the same issues over and over again. I know the cycle is going to fucking repeat. Tell me about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Spirit, tell me about the hermit card. Why is the hermit here? Ten of Pentacles. You gonna eventually have it all. I don't know who this what is who the shit. I don't know who it's going to be with, but whoever it is, it's going to be okay. That's how you gonna know who this person is with the Ten of Pentacles. They may already be well established. Like they may already have their own money, or they may like come from money or something like that and this is somebody that you feel like you can build with so this could be a new person this could be an old person i don't know um but you're mentally leave a legacy for your offspring tell me about the queen of swords why is the queen of swords here tell me about the queen of swords king king of cups and the seven of pentacles there is somebody who genuinely loves you. Um, 
but it's like they hold back their emotions and you want them to invest more. And I feel like that's what you're ready to stand on business about. It's like, okay, you can't come back to me unless you're going to reciprocate. I'm not going to be the only person pouring into this relationship. So we're talking about this King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. The world card. Although this person thinks the world of you, y'all may decide to close the cycle out with them and move on to bigger and better things. Tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Because the world card, I'm telling you, the world is at your feet. Like, y'all are ready to grow. Like, y'all have a lot of growth about to take place. And it's probably going to feel scary at first. Butterflies might be significant. So if you start seeing butterflies frequently, then that's confirmation of this uh, message. Tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Tell me about the world card. Spirit, why is the world card here? Empress and a four of cups. Lately, some of y'all have been contemplating about starting a family. Settling down, getting married. Um, and if that's not your energy, then somebody is like tired of holding back. It's like they want to come forward. They want to have some sort of conversation because they think, I told you, they think the world of you. They hold you in high regard. They see you, and some of you, you may already have a child with this person. I don't know. But if not, they see you as somebody that they can marry. Somebody that's very grounded. Someone who is very um, business oriented. Like many of you may be an entrepreneur. If not, then you fucking need to be, okay? But somebody got a lot of love for you. Y'all gonna get pregnant and I keep saying that or y'all gonna get somebody pregnant. When did this fall out? I don't even know when that fell out. Tell me about the temperance and reverse. Why is the temperance and reverse here? shut up <laughs> tell me about the temperance in reverse just invite me to the baby showers thing tell me about the temperance in reverse spirit why is the temperance in reverse here oh, that's too many cards tell me about the temperance in reverse eight of cups yeah y'all why did my phone just turn completely dark Y'all walking away from somebody, I'm telling y'all, I feel like y'all gonna walk into something better. Some of y'all may have already met this new person. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Tell me about the Eight of Cups spirit. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Damn, I'm not taking all them cards. Sorry, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Four of Swords. Yeah, y'all get no, y'all, listen. Some of y'all may have already left this past person. Um, but if not, it's like, y'all, cause y'all are healing from something. Y'all getting y'all rest, y'all becoming rejuvenated. Like, y'all not focusing on anything that no longer serves you. Like, I don't think y'all understand when I say y'all really about to boss the fuck up. Thank you, Nikki, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Who are they going to... Who is Air Signs having this Ten of Pentacles with? Dun, dun, dun. Ace of Wands in reverse and a Page of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> well, one thing's for sure. Um, I feel like it's telling you not to give that person from the past a never shot. Or hell, it could be a new... Let me see. Hold the fuck up. Because Ace of Wands sometimes could be new, too. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the... Empress. You have the Emperor and the Empress. Something is getting delayed. Okay, this is somebody that you're currently not talking to. And it's so weird. Okay, listen. This is a mess. Ace of Wands in reverse and Page of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is a new person, but for whatever reason, they're holding back. They're not coming forward or they're not expressing their feelings to you. Because I always read Ace of Wands as a new lover. But with the Page of Swords, I feel like they keep tabs on you. 
Um, or y'all might keep tabs on them because this is y'all energy. So for some of y'all, y'all may already know them. And say if you're dating them, I feel like maybe y'all might be holding back because y'all scared to take things to the next level. And then you got the Empress. So it's like, okay, I see marriage in y'all future. I'm telling you, you had the Empress and the Emperor right here. But maybe it's a delay because like I said, it's something about y'all career that y'all have got to focus on right now. Love is just not in the cards right now at this moment. Yeah, you got love cards, granted. But I really feel like they want you to focus on your career, which is not a bad thing. Like, like I said, you can be casually dating or even if you're in a relationship with someone. That doesn't mean like pressure them into taking it to the next level just yet. Get your career up and running. Whatever you got in mind that you want to do, because I'm telling y'all, y'all already be successful. You went from the nine. Wait, matter of fact, you went from the eight, nine, and now you got the ten of pentacles here. Baby, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of success. A lot of fucking success. Oh, and let's not forget the Empress. This is an amazing career card. So it's like love is going to come when you're in alignment with your career. So what is the final likely outcome for air signs for the good stuff that's coming in the month of May? What is the final likely outcome for air signs? Five of Swords, and this fell out when I was shuffling it at first on the floor. Why would that be the final likely outcome? Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Queen of Cups in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, and the Chariot. Okay, listen, if y'all are dealing with someone now, they may try to, sab they may often sabotage the relationship. I don't know. I feel like y'all dealing with someone who's very jealous, who's very manipulative, like they're emotionally manipulative. So be careful with that. Because with the King of Swords in reverse, it's letting me know like y'all really want a relationship. Y'all want to be in a relationship, but just don't settle for anything. Because with this chariot card, something is coming for you. I'm telling you, you have something really great coming for you. Don't settle for whoever this fucking manipulating fucking whoever. I don't know. This is somebody you can't trust. This is somebody that's very sneaky. Tell me about the chariot card. Why is the chariot card here? Tell me about the chariot card. Be careful who you're putting your trust into. Tell me about the chariot card. Three of pentacles in reverse and a five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's somebody that you don't need to commit to. I feel like y'all need to go to new love. Because whoever this person is, is someone who made you feel abandoned, rejected, left your ass out in the cold. It's no point of committing to them right now. Also, if you've been thinking about starting a business with someone, you may rethink that. Um, you may want to part ways or if you already have a business with someone, you may have been thinking lately to sever ties with them. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse here? Five of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's somebody from your past you don't need to take back. And I don't care how much they love you. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Seven of Wands, just block them. Go ahead and block them. My cousin ran into my Aries last night. She slowly keep creeping in. I'm telling you, go ahead and block them. Or you're going to be... Sad and depressed again, crying. Go, go and block them. <laughs> go ahead and block them. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Tell me about the seven of wands. D, that, that tarot deck on, on the table, Um, can you bring that down here, please? It says something witches. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Ten of cups, look. Once you block them, you're going to get your happy ever after with someone else. I'm telling you. Spirit, tell me about this new, huh? Yeah. Spirit, tell me about new love for air signs. Tell me about this new lover for air signs. What did I say earlier? You're going to meet a new lover and they're going to have money. King of Pentacles. I 
don't be knowing. I told you. And King of Pentacles is a great provider, generous, will settle down, will get married, want to have a family. But yeah, King of, only, th only thing is he's a workaholic. But so the fuck what? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? How can I block the person I have kids with, though? Don't. Because seven of wands, even if you don't block them, then it just means staying your ground. Set boundaries. King of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this person is is going to see you as marriage material. They may not be as quick to take action as you. Um, Thank you. But they're definitely going to see you as marriage material. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? Three of Cups. You're gonna build, okay, y'all. Y'all gonna build a really great friendship with this person first. I'm telling you. You're gonna build a really great friendship, and that's gonna really help y'all when y'all get into a relationship. It's gonna make the love stronger. Now, I will say this <laughs> when you really start, like when you lock in with this person, the person from your past may try to come back, of course. Um, but yes, oh, also with this three of cups and king of pentacles. Y'all have good fortune and success coming in in the month of May. I don't know what the fuck y'all working on, but you be a fool not to see it all the way through. I'm telling you right now, you will be a fool. Y'all have some amazing money cards. It's so much success in this reading right now, I'm telling you. So that's what I have for y'all air signs. I really love that name. It is so cute. I have to call find my coffee shop near the eyeglass spot. Oh shit, I forgot about that. But you perfect for me. We riding, we riding. Mm -mm. I got a new car, like you said, Firewood. Yay, congratulations. Congratulations. That's what I like to hear. All right, y'all. Oh, your birthday, June 13th. Okay. Um. is coming to fire signs in the month of May. What good stuff is coming to fire signs in the month of May? What good stuff is, do you make or sell protection wear like beads or bracelet? No, ma'am. I just do protection candle work. So what good stuff is coming to fire signs in the month of May? Do 
Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Fire Signs in the month of May? What? Two more cards. What good? One more card. What good stuff is coming? is the two of wands some of y'all are going to travel in the month of may um others of you you're going to take the month of may to really sit down and plan for your future there is something that you may have to make a decision about in the month of may as well um some of y'all may be ready to travel overseas and then you got the five of swords so okay Somebody at your job or your place of business may be trying to sabotage you, so please be careful. When a five of swords comes out, sometimes it means spirit doesn't want you there, so go ahead and apply for another job or go up for a promotion, or you know, you may just need to wear some sort of spiritual protection. Um, there could be also somebody that was that you were dealing with that could have possibly had you in a third party situation and always sabotaged the relationship between y'all. If that is the case with this Ace of Swords, somebody is coming back and wants to have a conversation with you. They may want to reveal something um, to you. Once again, some of y'all may be ready to travel out the country in the month of May. Um, but y'all will have communication coming in the month of May. Four of Swords, I feel like whatever this conversation is going to be is going to give you some sort of closure. Because Four of Swords is all about healing, um, reevaluating something. So I feel like whatever this conversation is, is going to put a lot of things in perspective for you in the month of May. But I don't feel like it's going to be bad because you have the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Tell me about the Two of Wands. Too many cards. Fuck, hold up. Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? God damn it. Why are these cards flying out? Here, tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Page of Pentacles. Um, some of y'all making an apology from somebody, but somebody's gonna send you some sort of message. Now, for others of you, remember when I said y'all gonna be planning for your future? Basically, the same thing I was telling air signs. Some of y'all need to take a class or learn a new skill that's going to make you a lot of money in the long run. It's time for you to really start planning for your future, like I said, that's because that's going to really lead you to success. So really get clear on what you want. Sign up for that class. Do whatever you need to do. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Ooh, Dominica Republic, yay. Tell me about the Five of Swords spirit. Why is the Five of Swords here for fire signs? Nine of Pentacles. That's what I like to hear. So listen, even if somebody is trying to fucking sabotage you at work, it doesn't matter because God got other plans for you. They, he just really got other plans for you. Like, you are going to be successful. You are meant for success with this nine of pentacles, okay? Many of you are meant to be an entrepreneur. So this is what I mean when I say take that class, learn that new skill, turn that shit into a business, okay? Wear your spiritual protection. Don't let nobody come in because I feel like y'all have a very strong spiritual team. So certain shit is just going to bounce up off of you. You're going to have many people that's going to be jealous of your success. I can tell you that right now. You're going to have a lot of people jealous of y'all's success. But who gives a fuck? <laughs> um, but you're going to be looking good. Some of y'all, I'm telling y'all, there's something about you that you're going to be switching up. You may change your hair. Get your body done. Lose weight. Like, some of y'all going to get have surgery. Y'all doing something. I don't know. But y'all going to be looking good and your money going to be even better. Some of y'all may be ready to sign some contract, too. Or some type of documents. You already signed something. I heard a lease. Uh, huh? I guess. What are you in a rush for? Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Should I just set a lease? And I Never mind. Let me stop doing my business. Anywho. Um, Ace of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and Nine of Cups. 
Yeah, congratulations on your new car, son. Um, hmm. Somebody has a lot of love for you, and you're ready to get some sort of wish fulfillment, I'm telling you. Um, But you're already investing yourself. You're already investing your future. I'm telling you. Now, you may have somebody to come back to say that they want to invest in this connection with you. But with the nine of cups, that's what concerns me. Because sometimes the nine of cups is someone who is single. Although they have a lot of love for you, they may... Let me see something. Tell me about the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Tell me about the nine of cups. Nine of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. When it comes to love, you, your wish fulfillment is going to come from somebody walking away from someone else. This could be somebody new that you meet that just recently leaving someone else. And it may be y'all going to meet. Or if it's somebody from your past, um, they may be walking away from someone else. And I feel like y'all may end up together, but it's saying in divine timing. Or you may walk towards someone else when you least expect it. I'm telling you. Tell me about the four of swords. Why is the four of swords here? <clears throat> Five of wands. Y'all already have options. Y'all are ready to have options, fire signs. And just like I was telling air signs with the five of wands, like, Learn that new skill, take that class because you got people waiting to book your services, to buy what you're offering. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. Some of y'all may be ready to release somebody from your past that you feel like it's just a burden to you. They come with too much baggage. Yes, yeah, a lot of love between you two. Yes, it's more than likely your fucking soulmate. Y'all may even share a past life connection, but they come with too much baggage and some of y'all are just like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna release them. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. So somebody sees you as marriage material. They see you as the one they want to be with. But I feel like this person is focusing on their money right now. Um, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. They're not quick to take action. So this person is kind of going to drag their feet. If this is somebody new, they're going to tell you, like, listen, let's just take things slow. Um, if it's a past person, then, or whoever you're currently dealing with, they're just dragging their feet to take things to the next level. I feel like this reading is so similar to air signs. And this is a whole different deck. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and a Will of Fortune. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and a Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all got a love offer coming in in the month of May. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Nine of Wands. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want you to give up on them. Like, you're at the brink of just being like, you know what, I'm not doing this no more. Please stop trying to spin a black with me. But somebody is just like, no, I'm not letting you go. I will I will fight for this connection. Because with this five of ones, it's like, I'll fight for this. I'm not letting you go. Like, no. Tell me about the ten of wands and the six of cups. Why is the ten of wands and the six of cups here? Tell me about the ten of wands and the... Queen of Swords and the Empress. Hmm. Somebody, whether they told you this or not, they really do know your worth. Even if you think they don't know your worth, they know your worth. And by you starting to set boundaries with them, that's going to make them respect you even more. And that's going to really make them want you even more. Because maybe in the past, you never really... Um, Set boundaries with them. Did she poop? Yeah. You didn't know how to set boundaries with them, but now it's like you're not playing no games. You out here bossing up. You're looking good. 
you focusing on your career, you got these options coming in, and now they like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> So you're talking about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of... Damn. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody is no longer in their head when it comes to you. Because I'm telling you, they see your glow up. Tell me about the Aces, Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Sun card. Remember I said in the beginning of the reading, I didn't feel like something was bad because the sun card is at the bottom of the deck and it came out. Listen, y'all gonna be shining the month of May. Shining, shining. Listen, abundance, prosperity. I really feel like y'all gonna meet somebody this month of May. Like, fuck the past person. It's going to be somebody that's gonna set your heart on fire. This girl is on fire. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot of love. Then you got the empress. Be careful, because y'all might get pregnant this month. But you might not find out until... Next month. Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Three of cups to the ten of cups. I told you somebody is not gonna want to let y'all go with that nine of wands, right? And with the three of cups, it's like y'all gonna really be like, I don't want to reconnect with you. They're gonna keep saying like I just want to, like, I should have been give you that happily ever after. I should have been stepped up and did it right. But you like, okay, it's a little too fucking late now. So tell me about the three of cups in reverse and the ten of cups in the upright. Tell me about the three of cups in reverse and the ten of cups in the upright. Five of cups, this person is regretting losing you. I'm telling you, they're regretting this shit. Especially if they hear about you moving on to somebody else. And they're probably going to hear about it because I feel like whoever this new person is is going to make you happy as fuck. <laughs> and yeah, they're going to be really regretting this. They're going to be sad. I feel like they're going to be crying over y'all. So what is the final likely outcome for the... Well, I'll just take a justice card. Um, something is going in your favor. Somebody's going to try to make something right with you. If you have any legal issues coming up, I feel like it will go in your favor. Um, but somebody's going to try to balance the scales. Spirit, tell me more. What is the final likely outcome for fire signs for the good stuff coming in May? Final likely outcome. Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and a High Priestess. Y'all got a lot of different energies in here. There's somebody you need to use your intuition about and you got to stand your ground with or you need to just fucking block them. This reading is so... So fucking similar to air signs, and this is a whole different deck. So we're talking about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Y'all money gonna do really good too with this um queen of pentacles right here. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Judgment. There's something you gonna have to make a decision about. There is some sort of decision you're gonna have to make. Hmm. And it's telling you to use your intuition. Tell me about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Tell me about the judgment card. Page of swords in reverse. You may make the choice to really not talk to somebody no more. So cut off all communication. Tell me about the high priestess. Four of wands. Yeah, listen. Y'all want to be happy. Y'all got celebrations coming up in the month of May. Y'all are going to be happy. And you're going to choose you. You're going to put yourself first. So if this past person is still playing games, I feel like y'all really going to make the decision to just let this shit go. Because at the end of the day, if it's meant to be, it will be. But if you got somebody ready to step up to the plate and make you happy and give you what you deserve, then guess what? Go ahead and get this four of wands. Because there's somebody that's going to be like, yo, you feel like home to me. Even if they don't tell you that. They're going to make you feel it or you're just going to know it. Okay, this is my 11-11 card. So y'all may start seeing 11-11. Some of y'all may be ready to move as well. But I feel like y'all have a relationship coming. So we're talking about the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Tell me about the four of wands. Seven of cups. Y'all going to be confused, like not knowing what to do. But I don't know why. Tell me about the seven of cups. Or it could be because y'all going to have multiple options. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, y'all have a lot of new opportunities coming in in career and love. 
you may start to feel overwhelmed, but I feel like, listen, at the end of the day with this judgment card, it's telling you to trust your judgment. You know the right decisions you make. There is no sense of you getting yourself worked up, feeling all overwhelmed. And yes, I know fire signs <laughs> is known to be in their head. Fire signs is very indecisive. But I feel like with this judgment card and that Queen of Swords and that Queen of Pentacles, like you're going to make the right decision. Do not second guess yourself, okay? But that's what I have for y'all for the month of May. Also with this Ace of Pentacles, y'all gonna transition to a new way of making money as well. This time next year, y'all gonna be in, a, be in a far better position, just to let you know. So if y'all are stressing right now about career, finances, don't. If y'all are stressing about love, don't. Cause y'all probably gonna be engaged or living with somebody or married by this time next year. All right, somebody write earth signs. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Thank you, Deirdre, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. for the other elements. earth signs for the month of may what good stuff is coming to earth signs for the month of may hmm. give me two more cards for earth signs for the good stuff that's coming to them for the month of may one more card what good stuff is coming to all right i feel like it's a lot of pregnancy in the air because the Empress came out, this is the third reading, one in the first deck and two times with this deck. Um, hold on, let me clarify this real quick before I say something. So tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Okay, Earth Signs. Some of y'all are, are letting go of somebody from your past because you feel like, or somebody that you're currently dating, because you feel like all they do is lie. They deceive you. They could have lied to you about being single. Um, you just feel like you just cannot trust them. And the good thing is when you do, you got the ace of cups. So when you let them go and you sever ties with them, you have a love offer coming in. You have somebody that's going to fulfill you emotionally. 
You have the page of swords in reverse. So I feel like, stop. So I feel like this person does watch you, but I do feel like you two are not in communication with anyone. I do, I mean, with each other. I feel like y'all cutting off, or you're going to cut off communication with them. Either or, it doesn't matter. You got the emperors. Like, y'all gonna really start to understand who the fuck y'all are this month. And y'all got great things coming in. Empress, she gives life to things. She. This is the card of the fertility. She births businesses. She births babies. She's very grounded. Loving, caring, beautiful. Um, your money is going to be doing good. Some of y'all may decide to start or expand a business this month. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Tell me about the... Ace of Cups is clarified by the Devil card. So whoever this person is that you're trying to cut off, they're going to keep trying eventually because, or I don't know, it may be hard for y'all to cut them off. Like it may be hard for you to resist them. For some of you, your person could have a drinking problem. Um, yeah, but you just got a toxic connection with somebody. Tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Judgment and Page of Pentacles. Whoever this person is in this devil energy, they want your forgiveness. They know that they wronged you and they want your forgiveness. You're going to receive a message from them. They're going to apologize, especially when they feel you um, pulling back your energy. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Why is the Page of Swords in reverse? Oh, shit. So there's something about the Page of Swords in reverse. Why is the page of three of swords? Yeah, this person broke your heart. They literally broke your fucking heart. Tell me about this three of swords. Why is the three of swords here, spirit? Queen of swords in reverse. Okay, here's the thing. Some of y'all are a little bitter. Some of y'all are a little bitter over the situation. And that's not a good thing. Sometimes you just gotta let shit go and let it be what it's gonna be. Because holding on to that hurt is giving them too much power over you. Too much power. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Em Damn. Empress and the Empress. Somebody is married. Some of y'all are married. If you not if y'all not if you're not married to this person, then they may be married to somebody else. But you got the Empress and the Emperor. Who else got that? I think it was fire signs. Also, with this Queen of Swords in reverse, like, if you and this person are in communication, I feel like you be talking to them really disrespectfully, or they be talking to you real disrespectfully, and you gotta nip that shit in the bud now, okay? Don't be like nobody talk to you crazy, and if y'all the one talking to somebody crazy, stop. Stop being disrespectful. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? World card. Y'all got something amazing coming in that y'all probably don't even see coming. There's a lot of big changes happening in your, that's about to happen in your life in the month of May. You're going to be planting seeds. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse here? Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. There is somebody that you really love. Like, it's mutual feelings. You feel like you've never... It's like a love that you never felt with anyone before. But with the seven of ones, it's something that's blocking y'all from being together or fixing this connection. And it's probably because you can't trust them. And they're in that double energy as well. Some of y'all need to block them or just learn how to stand y'all ground with them. Especially if they're the ones that be talking to you crazy. Tell me about the judgment and the page of pentacles. Will of Fortune and the Nine of Swords. Y'all are overthinking, can't sleep. But this, if this is not you, then, it's the, then this is your person. And I really feel like it's your person because they do feel like they owe you an apology. Whoever did wrong, whether it was you or them, that's the one that's in their head. So, like, say, for example, if you, you were the one who did them wrong. It's like you're in your head stressing about this. Because they're wanting, if not, then it's them. Because it's like they're wondering if you're going to forgive them. 
they wonder if they fucked up to the point that they can't get you back. But it's like they know that y'all are meant to be. They know it. And they're leaving it up to God because they're like, you know what? If we're meant to be, it's going to be. Like, I'm just leaving it up to God at this point. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse here? Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands. Some of y'all could be in a same-sex relationship. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Wands, Death, Knight of Cups. Somebody doesn't want something to be over between y'all. And they love the sex between y'all. And that devil card is just like, I said it's hard for y'all to resist, but y'all have some like really amazing sex with one another. And it is a lot of love here, but I do feel like this person probably pay, play a lot of games. One minute they're in, the next minute they're out. Tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is walking away, and I keep saying that. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right, listen. Y'all got every queen here, I believe. Um, but you got the Queen of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Queen of Wands. The Eight of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is what I think is happening. And this is not going to be for everybody. Your person has someone else, right? But this person that they have gets on their fucking nerves. They're very bitter. They can be a bitch. They talk to them crazy. All they do is argue with this person. And with the Queen of Pentacles, that third party is not with them because of love. They're with them because of the finances of what your person can do for them. It has nothing to do with love. And then I feel like, and y'all know that too. Like y'all know that, or somebody may be with y'all just because of the money or something. And it's just time for y'all to walk the fuck away or they need to walk away. But if I were y'all earth signs, I would just sever ties and let them get their shit together. Because I feel like this situation is too messy. And if you are in a relationship with somebody and this is your situation, I feel like the love is gone between you and somebody. Like y'all keep thinking about, y'all holding on because y'all keep thinking about how good things used to be. Or you're holding on because maybe you got kids with this person. But I'm telling you, yeah, the sex may be great if that, but... The love is gone. It is time to walk away. It's time to walk away. So what is the final likely outcome for Earth signs for the good stuff that's coming to them in May? Lovers in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is breaking up. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. Tell me about the Six of... Damn, hold on, that's too many cards, y'all. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. Hangman. Yes, somebody got to sever ties with someone else and they're telling you to wait for them. They're telling you to be patient. Tell me about the Hangman. Why is the King of Swords. Yes, somebody's getting a divorce, I'm telling you. If y'all are married, and remember the emperor and the empress came out together. I mean, clarified each other. So I did say somebody was married. King of Swords, somebody's getting a divorce. And that's why this person is saying, wait. If they're not married and they just got a girlfriend or a boyfriend, they're just saying, okay, I'm going to cut them off. Tell me about the King of Swords. Last... Three of Cups, yeah. Then they're going to come back and want to reconnect with you. They miss y'all friendship. I don't know. Spirit, give me one more message for the good stuff that's coming to Earth Signs for the month of May. One more message for the good... Ten of Cups. Something good is coming. Abundance, love. I'm telling y'all, whether it's with this person or not. Now, some of y'all really do want this person. Some of y'all want to wait for them to serve ties with someone else. And it's going to happen. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups? Nine of Wands. They're not letting you go. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. 
I feel like the story is different for everybody. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. You want them to start putting more effort in. Sun card. Something is going to eventually work out in your favor, but with that will of fortune, you have got to... Um, you got to have patience because something's going to happen in divine timing. But some card is the most positive and happiest card in the deck. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know if I'm connecting to this reading. This reading was a lot. It, it was messy. It was messy. Um, it was really messy. Well, I'm not going to say messy. I don't want to call it messy. Um, all right. I just feel like this. You have... One set of people who dealing with someone and this person has a third party. They're not happy with that third party. That third party is using them. And I feel like they're about to leave that third party. Neri, you said you understood the reading. Okay, that's for some of y'all. Others of y'all, if you are the one that's married or in a relationship, I feel like that love is dying between the two of you. Like y'all just holding on because y'all keep thinking about how good shit used to be, but it's not worth it anymore because y'all are arguing a lot y'all being spiteful y'all pointing fingers and it may be best to just walk away like just literally walk away um yeah i don't know and i know y'all like well what the fuck is good about that <laughs> your fucking peace of mind okay that's what's good about that is your peace of mind okay because for the first half of y'all, y'all want this person all to yourself. So you're going to get that. They're working towards that in the month of May. Now, they may can't offer you a commitment in the month of May, but I feel like in this month, they're working to sever ties with somebody. They may not tell you that. Um, and then others of you, if you walk away from somebody that haven't been treating you the best, that's going to give you a peace of mind. So that is good. Okay. Um. Can we script for healing from someone? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay, so that's what I have for y'all earth signs. Not one more card. buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Alright, let's go back to the other deck. My person is married and separated in relationship with me, but we arguing and fighting a lot and haven't been talking. So that was your story. Do you offer a self-love ritual? Yes, I do, Stink. You just gotta DM me if you want one. G moves for my badge. I really appreciate you. My person left when I found out about a baby and him taking my money. God damn. I would never want him fucking back ever. Ever, ever. Maybe I should have did this for Earth Signs before I started. I did it for every sign. I don't know how I forgot to do it for Earth Sign. He doesn't know what he wants and is confused. 
Well, if he doesn't, he's telling you he don't know what he wants is, is your answer. He's telling you he don't want you right now. And that may be a hard pill to swallow, but if, when somebody said they confused, then that's your cue to just go on, take your L, and keep it moving. Just let it go. Because why are you sitting around waiting for somebody to be sure about you? Because to me, that seems like you struggling with your self-esteem at that point. Because you only got one time to tell me you confused about me, then it's fuck you. Because guess what? It's going to be a hundred other people that's not confused about me. It would be a cold day in hell that I would ever call you again. is coming to water signs for the month of May. Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to water Actually, let me see something. Tell me about the shrimp card. With skin care products, I use, um, oh my God, I just switched last month, no, two months ago. Um, oh my God, V something, V I, what the fuck? How the hell balloons get, child? Um, I can't remember the name, I can't. Um, shit, now you got me thinking. Anywho. What are signs? You have the will of fortune. So, luck is on your side. You do have good things coming in the month of May. If you want to apply for a new job, go ahead. If you want to go for that promotion, do it. Start that business. Whatever you want to do, do it. Some of y'all may meet somebody unexpected. And it may give you, like, soulmate vibes. Um, then you got the strength clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may offer you, find the shrimp to offer you a commitment this month. Um, Because somebody wants it all with you. And I feel like your money is going to be doing good this month as well. Judgment card, there is something you're going to need to make a decision about. And it's telling you to use your intuition when making this decision. And trust your judgment as well. Tell me about the... Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, something about your money is going to, like, something with finances is going to go in your favor in the month of May. And it says, there's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. Yeah, y'all, I'm telling y'all, May going to be a good month for career and finance. Especially if you already been, um, Laying down the foundation. Tell me about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Nine of Pentacles. Y'all got so much success coming in, I'm telling you. And it, it, it's something about your career that you're going to have to make a decision about in the month of May. And whatever that is, I don't know. For some of you, it could be you making a decision to become an entrepreneur. It could be you making a decision to leave one job to go into a better job. Tell me about the high priest. Damn. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Chariot. There's already be forward movement in your life, whether this is in love, whether this is in career, but you're ready to overcome some sort of obstacles, and you're going to do that by listening to your intuition, not ignoring the red flags. Some of you may be ready to buy a new car in a month of May as well, or go on like a road trip. So there's something about the. Queen of Pentacles. Why, damn, you got the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and a Nine of Pentacles in a chariot. That's a lot of fucking money and success. 
This is not just the month of May. I feel like this is going to be for the next few months. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yo, y'all money going to be good, Border Signs. But Page of Pentacles. You need to take a class or learn a new skill. Like I told fire and air, that's going to make you a lot of money in the long run. When it comes to love somebody, um, you're going to receive a message from somebody. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody is going to apologize to you. They may even buy you a gift. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Sorry, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups. That's y'all energy. Y'all gonna feel y'all gonna be feeling really love in the month of May. Really love. Y'all gonna be feeling really love. And y'all gonna want to give your love to someone as well. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles, y'all building something. I'm telling you, y'all gonna be busy. Y'all gonna be so busy. Y'all gonna put that hard work in so you can see the fruits of your labor. Tell me about the oh, hold up. Tell me, tell me about the chariot card. Why is the chariot temperance? Yeah, balance is getting restored in your life. I feel like you got somebody coming in, whether this is a new or old person. Y'all got some sort of relationship coming in. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Spirit, tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Page of Swords. There's something involving your career that you've got to do research on and take action. Okay? This is the time where you could start that podcast, write that book, write that blog post or whatever you're going to do. Um... But you got to research something and take action on it. Also, whoever this person is that feel like they want your forgiveness, they've been keeping tabs on you. They've been stalking you. But you got two pages right here, so you can definitely expect to receive communication from somebody. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Two of Wands and a Hangman. Yeah, it's, some, it's, it's, a, it's a decision that you got to make. And I honestly feel like it's going to be between two people. And you're not going to want to make that decision. And you're going to be like, wait, hold on. Wait, I get back to you. Like, you're not, you're stuck. You don't want to make that decision. Tell me about the eight. Some of y'all could be um, traveling this month as well. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. Nine of Wands in reverse and a King of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone that you may want to give up on. And this could be someone that's not as stable as they pretend to be. This could be someone that possibly have a gambling problem or maybe they just love money too fucking much or they could be in the streets or something. Tell me about the Temperance card. Why is the Temperance here? Three of Cups. Some of y'all may choose not to reconnect with somebody from your past and move on to somebody new. Tell me about this Three of Cups in reverse. Why is the Three of Cups in reverse here? The Moon and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this person has deep feelings for you, but they often hold back their feelings. They could have been dating other people. Um, Let me see. Tell me about this Moon card in the Five of Wands. Why is the moon in the five of wands here? Seven of cups, something you confused about. Tell me about the seven of cups. You know what I think it is? This person is gonna come back and try to fight for this connection when they feel you pulling away from them. Um, and now you're gonna be confused, second guessing yourself. When I told you in the beginning of the reading, it's some decision you're gonna have to make. And I said, do not second guess yourself. So this person is gonna have you second guessing yourself. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here? Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. 
Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you were in a friends with benefits situation with this person, but even still, they left you out in the cold. They made you feel rejected. They may have ghosted you. Now they're coming back and they want to have some sort of conversation with you with this Ace of Swords. So you're probably going to hear from them within a week or two or maybe sooner. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Death card. Some of y'all, after this conversation, may decide to end things all together. Or they may want to have a conversation about why things ended, why they rejected you. Tell me about the death card. Why is the death card here? Tell me about the five of cups. Yeah, they regret ghosting you or breaking up with you. Um, and some of y'all are still sad over the situation. Tell me about the five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? Six of Pentacles. They're going to tell you that they want to start giving to this more. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Some of y'all are going to run into some unexpected money in the month of May, too. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Yeah, y'all are in your head. I told y'all, y'all going to be overthinking some decision you got to make in this, it's regarding this person. Whether you should give them a chance or not. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands. But here's the thing. Y'all going to have a lot of options coming in. So weigh your options. You do not have to make a decision right away. Or if you do, then just remember how the fuck it made you feel when they left you out in the um, cold, when they rejected you. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. It is okay to cry because I feel like many of you are still heartbroken. Six of Swords, it's time to move on to something better, I'm telling you. It is time to move on to something better because you have amazing things coming in. You have blessings coming in. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Tell me about the... Oh, too many cards. So tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yes, leave them alone. They're hell. All they're going to do is keep cheating. Keep in multiple options. You might as well let it go. Because they're hell. Because you got good things coming in. You have options. You don't have to settle for this option. I'm telling you. You have amazing things coming in in the month of May water signs. So don't settle for less than what you deserve. Okay? But that is what I have for y'all today. So... I will talk to y'all later. It's every damn sign here, y'all. All these goddamn cards. Um, all right, bye, y'all. I'm tired and my back hurt. <laughs>